Here we'll go through some examples for multiplying and dividing numbers that are expressed in scientific notation. So with all of these questions we do have a standard method that we can use but it's important to understand why that method works. So firstly looking at the multiplication. Now remember with multiplication of numbers we have these two properties associativity which is our kind of like a bracket anywhere kind of property and commutativity which means that we're allowed to move things around. So think of commuting on a train. So here um, what it means is that these brackets here essentially are not important or not needed. So I can write this out as 4.1 times 10 to the 7 times 3.6 times 10 squared. And it doesn't matter whether I evaluate this part first or whether I evaluate this part first, etc. And so then what I can do as well, so associativity counts, but commutativity applies as well. So that means I'm allowed to change around the order that I do the multiplications in. So I can actually go in this order instead, move the 3.6 here, multiply in this way. So I can change the order of the multiplication, and then I can evaluate this bit and evaluate this bit separately. So that's exactly what I do. So I'm going to multiply 4.1 and 3.6 and then I'm going to multiply my two powers of 10 and simplify them into one power of 10 and I'll have my scientific notation number at the end. So for 4.1 times 3.6 we can just use any calculator. So here 4.1 times 3.6 gives me 14.76. So I have 14.76 multiplied by, and remember when we're multiplying indices and they're the same base, so here both of these are base 10, we add the powers together. So this is 10 to the 7 plus 2, or we can simplify that index there, it's just going to be 10 to the 9. Now this isn't quite finished yet because remember I need to express it in standard scientific notation, that's where this leading number is between 1 and 10. So what I do here is I need to make this basically 10 times smaller. So I'm going to divide it by 10. And to undo that, I do the opposite with the power. So if I divide this first part by 10, I can then multiply this last part by 10. And so this becomes 1.476 times 10 to the 10, because I added one power here. Now again, I can think of that in terms of my commutativity and associativity, rather than thinking of this as dividing by 10, I'll call it multiplying by a tenth, because then I could have had 14.76 times a tenth times 10 to the 9 times 10, and rearranging these, again because of my um, associativity, etc. I could put this one out here, and this last part, bracketing that together, that just equals 1. And so we can see that since I've applied both of those, they kind of cancel each other out, and it's just the same as the number that I had started with. So this is usually what we're doing with scientific notation. Doing the multiplication, simplifying, then converting it into standard scientific notation by dividing or multiplying our A number, our leading number, um, by powers of 10 and adjusting the power that we were left with. With the second example, so it's another multiplication, so the same thing, I can write this as 1.6 times 5.8 multiplied by 10 cubed times 10 to the negative 7. For the first bit, 1.6 times 5.8 So this gives me 9.28. And then here I've got my powers, 10 to the 3 times 10 to the negative 7. Remember, I'm adding those numbers together. So 3 plus negative 7 is the same as 3 minus 7, which gives me negative 4. So this is 10 to the negative 4. And in this case, I don't need to do any extra simplification or changing around because this is already between 1 and 10. Now for division, it's a little bit trickier. 
Um, I think probably the easiest way to understand how we get to what we do um, is to think of this in terms of fractions or as multiplying by reciprocals. So either think of it as this is 3.14 times 10 to the 6 times 1 over 4.8 times 10 squared. Okay. So once I express this as in terms of multiplications, and remember with fractions we multiply the top and multiply the bottom numbers, so I can actually split that bottom one again. So this becomes the same as 1 over 4.8 times 1 over 10 squared. So you should be able to verify that this times this should give you this value here. Now once I've done it in that way, then I'm allowed to say that I don't need these brackets anymore and I'm also allowed to rearrange. So I can move this 10 to the 6 over here, move this here. And so what it essentially becomes is I've got my first number divided by my second number. So that's 3.14 times 1 over 4.8 times, and then I've got my first power, the 10 to the 6, divided by my second power, my 10 to the 2. So you can think of it in this way. Um, the other way that we could get here, if we wanted to, is just express the division in terms of fractions. And then this also splits out in the, this same way because of how we multiply fractions. So either way, when we're doing divisions, we just have to do this. We take the first two numbers and work out one divided by the other. And then we can take the second two numbers and work out that divided by the other. Um, we have to make sure we do it the right way around. Unlike multiplication where, you know, we can do the 3.14 times 4.8 or 4.8 times 3.14, we have to make sure the first number is the number that's on top and then the second number is the number that's on the bottom. But after that, we can just evaluate these separately. So then it becomes pretty similar to how we did multiplication. So we're just going to evaluate this 3.14 divided by 4.8. So I can do that again, do it here. equals 0 0.654, just leave it as a decimal is okay. So this is going to become 4 times, and with our powers when we're dividing we subtract. So this is going to be 10 to the power of 6 minus 2, so I get times 10 to the power of 4. Now, again here, we don't stop quite yet because we need to express it in scientific notation. Similarly to before, we want to make this number 10 times bigger to make it between 1 and 10. And so therefore, we need to make this number 10 times smaller. So just compensating, remember in a similar way that we had before, these numbers come at the end and can cancel out. We can think of the divided by 10 as multiplying by a tenth. And so... What does this finally become? We're going to have 6.54 times 10 divided by another 10 gets one smaller, so it's times 10 cubed. With a number this small, you should be able to probably verify it um, by converting those numbers to whole numbers, but we can leave it in scientific notation and it should work all right. So for this last one, we're going to do exactly the same thing. So we take the first number, divide it by the second number, 2.7 on 9.4, multiplied by 10 to the 9, first number, over 10 to the negative 4, equals, so 2.7 on 9.4 gives us 0 0.287. It may not be rounding those numbers exactly, but 
for what we're doing here it's okay so 0 0.287 and then we've got 10 to the 9 on 10 to the 4 so remember we're subtracting here but it's 9 minus negative 4 and remember if we subtract a negative number it's the same as adding so what we have here is 10 to the 13 and now again we need to make this number 10 times bigger we need to make this number 10 times smaller and so when we rewrite it in standard scientific notation we'll have 2.87 times 10 to the 12 okay so these are the scientific notation questions um, hopefully in understanding how to do these you also have a fair idea of how to convert numbers between scientific notation and standard notation so expanding them out or making them smaller um, is essentially what we're doing in these last steps here as well okay good luck